Hello everyone. Good evening. Let me uh, configure one more interesting use case regarding the manufacturing. So let understand what the use case is that. So here we have we are using the multi company environment. Two companies. This is the US company and second one is the taste company. Here we are considering the example of the dining table. This US company is going to manufacture this dining table for but for manufacture this dining table we require the tabletop and table legs. Tabletop this company is going to purchase from any of the vendor but the more complexity is with this table legs. This table legs are not manufactured in the US company it is manufactured in the taste company. So for this table legs component we have to configure two different routes. One route for US company because this company is purchased this table X from the taste company and for this table X taste company is gonna manufacture. So here two routes on one product. So how we can do that? For that just we have to modify the routes. We have to make that routes on company specific. So without wasting the time let me jump to the database. Here this is my US company and this is my taste company. Let's check the routes. Uh, here I have created the routes for the company specific. So if I am in the US company and will check the routes. So let me jump to the routes. I have created that route by route for US. So this is the company specific US. And now let me jump to the taste company. And this is taste company. We have that routes. So manufacturer taste company. Now let me jump to our again our US company, our main product which is dining table. Let's check its uh, configuration, its route. Route configuration is important here. Okay, So this is dining table. In inventory we can see that it's empty plus manufacture because this company is going to manufacture this dining table and we will check the bill of the material. So table leg and table top. So let me open the table leg. Your table leg is there. In the inventory it's buy buy for our this Gemini vendor but more complexity is with our table top let me open this table top so now this is the table top US company is purchased this table top from the taste company so of course we have to mention that buy route MTO and in the purchase we can see that the taste company is there here we have made please make sure that intercompany transaction is already activated from the settings so this all configuration is from US company. Now let me go to our taste company and let's check that product which is the tabletop. It's going to manufacture in that particular company. So it's a top. This is tabletop and here you can see that inventory. This is manufactured taste company. Okay, because we have made that route as a company specific. And this is the replenishment order. If we will check the bill of the material, this all components are there. And make sure, let, let's consider that this component is available. Now we are doing the actual demo. We are in the sales company, in the US company. Let me create the quotation. I am selecting any of our vendor. Now product is dining table. Let's make that quantity 11. And I am just going to confirm. So here confirming, we can see that one manufacturing order is created for our product. Now here these two products are there. So we have already activated that MTO. So two purchase orders are created. One for table leg, one for table top. So let me open that purchase order. So here we can see that 18 number. This is for the US company only. So we are just purchasing from the Gemini vendor and table leg we are confirming and receive the products products are in stock but this is main thing which is regarding with this this is our PO number 9 our vendor is taste company means it is another company and if I am just gonna confirming it the sell order will be automatically created in that taste company so here you can see that the 26 number SO is created in that taste company so let me go through that let me refresh it now I am in the taste company so now orders are there. Let me find this 26 number. Quotation. Let me remove this filter. Yeah. This is my 26 number. Okay. Now what happens here? Now this is my tabletop. Here we have used that MTO plus manufacturer. 
So if I am going to confirm it, so here you can see that the manufacturing order is triggered and this manufacturing order is particularly for the test company. Okay, so now let me do that. Let me check every components are not available. So we, go, we will purchase from the vendor. We have purchase, so confirming, now receive the products, all products and validate. Now these are done. Now let's check the availability. Let's check the transfer also. But now we can produce all. So now let's check the stock, tabletop. And here you can see that it's on hand quantity is there. Now this component is manufactured. So now next step is to deliver this component to the US company. So what we are going to do, this is the delivery. Now this is ready and we are going to validate. So thing is that this tabletop is delivered from test company to US company. Now let's jump to our US company. P19 which related with this. The shift is created. And now it's waiting. Let me check it. Now it's validate. Now components are in stock. So tabletop and table X both are available. So let me jump to the manufacturing. Let's check components are available and produce all. So now this is the way that if one company is dependent on the another company to purchase those product and that company is going to manufacture that product in its premises then we can make that route as a company specific we can apply on that product and we can easily configure it you can test from your side have any kind of this scenario please feel free to ask me thank you everyone